This week, Rhea and I are traveling by land and by water as we follow a trail with plenty of options that takes off right from the Height Adventure Center at the very tippy top of Lake Powell. Then we're off to Beaver, Utah as we support the leaders of the ATV community at the 14th annual Ride on Utah Big Ride. Finally, Reese Stein is taking us out to one of Utah's most diverse fishing holes as he introduces us to the Tiger Muskie. So hold on tight and get ready to reel them in. At Your Leisure is next. It's called Mild Crag, named by John Wesley Powell. We're discovering it today. But we should call it Horseshoe Bend. <laughs> Except there already is one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth, and we are high above the Colorado River, just north of Height, the, in the Height Marina area, uh, now called the Height Outpost. And uh, we are out discovering some of the new ways to recreate in the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Oh, this is going to be a spectacular show for you guys today. Yeah, so by a raise of hands, how many of you have boated up the Colorado River to Sheep Canyon or Dark Canyon? Raise your hands. <laughs> okay, good. Now, how many of you, when you've been up the canyon by boat, wondered, I wonder what it looks like from the top? Well, we are at the top. Right to our left is the entrance to Sheep Canyon. And uh, we are going to explore a couple of the areas up here that give you a whole new perspective. That's right. So we're doing the whole gamut today. We're doing ATVs. We're doing personal watercraft. We're hiking. It's going to be a spectacular show for you. You will be able to see this scene from the bottom and the top. But right now, let's find out about some of the trail adventures from the captain and the first mate. When we got the Tickaboo, we saw a lot of amazing stuff over the last four years. But then once we got the height project going and came out here, it was just totally different terrain. A lot of that land is BLM, so it's easily accessible by off-road vehicles. And uh, we've taken our Jeep out there, and it is slow going when you take a Jeep, but when you do get one of the uh, machines, one of the side-by-sides, you can just blaze a trail and get on down and see a lot of amazing stuff. Height makes a great base camp for adventure because we are in such close proximity to canyon lands. We're close to a uh, dark canyon, wilderness area. We're right on the lake. All of our campsites right now are lakeside campsites. So they're not any close to our brand new hot showers, but they're right on the lake. So we have kayak rentals, we have paddleboard rentals, we have half day ATV rentals, we have full day ATV rentals. We've got a tours. Uh, there's, there's two different types of folks. There's the types that like the comforts and there's, like, there's the type that like the remoteness and this offers the remoteness. And there's a huge crowd of people out there that want to go get away from it all. And I guarantee you, this is it. You can come out here and you don't have to worry about getting cell service. You're not going to get cell service. You can keep them busy for a week. We have uh, the RV campground and the developed campground. Uh, the, the government, National Park Service, has put $800,000 in into revamping it. And it's really nice now. It's a lot different than what it was last year. So you can bring your RV and camp and we can get you we can either point you in the right direction, we can rent you uh, the side-by-sides and tell you where to go to see this terrain, all this beautiful country. We can rent uh, jet skis, kayaks, paddle boards, and we also rent mountain bikes. So no matter what's your pleasure, we can put you in the right direction and get you out there. When it's time to go back, we're like, eh, we want to stay, it's that beautiful. Gosh, look at the time, it's just flying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought we were going to be down to the edge of Dark Canyon by now and we could show it off, but the last part of this trail is pretty technical and so we've had to slow down quite a bit. We're only about a half mile of the last two miles. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, but uh, it's time to go to our story this week. That's right, we're going to head to our where too and today we're going to talk about the OHV community. And so how does everybody get on the same page when you're talking about issues and things? Well, you go on the big ride and it's out in Beaver County. There's no doubt that Utah is an off-roading heaven. With the gorgeous scenery and seemingly endless miles of trails, it's no wonder that dozens of ATV clubs have formed and try to create a strong sense of community for ATVers. And every year, the leaders of these clubs get together for the annual Ride On Utah Big Ride. We are on the 14th annual Ride on Utah Big Ride uh, 
We're based out of Beaver, Utah this year. We've based out of Beaver, Kanab, Blanding, uh, Marysvale, several different communities that we've tried to showcase the trails in those areas. Its intent is to bring uh, officers from various OHV organizations together with local, state, and federal officials, Fish and Game, Bureau of Land Management, Forestry, to discuss off-road issues, potential legislation, as well as share the love of ATV riding uh, in our areas. Beaver has two accesses to the Paiute Trail, so today we've gone ahead and run uh, along to Manderfield Reservoir and then up to some lookout, scenic lookout points that show the Beaver Valley. This, this trail today, and this is our third day of a four-day big ride, uh, today we've hit several different types of trails. Um, the trails have, have gone from, you know, basically roads that you could drive your Jeep on to a little more uh, challenging where you do need a four-wheel drive to get up and, and around. The Big Ride brings together all these leaders for an epic four-day adventure. And it also has an undeniable impact on the ATV community at large. We find new places to ride, but uh, we also work at trying to understand land access issues and understanding how we as a club can have an impact on the, the land access issues and, uh, and the communities that are involved. This group is instrumental in opening up trails in Utah, keeping the trails open, and making it so people can take their family and go from town to town and, and see our wonderful state. That is our goal, to make that happen. And, and there's about 20 of us that have been doing that and we're heavily involved in state legislature and the community and safety and state parks to make that happen. You know, at lunchtime we have speakers, we have dinners planned at uh, restaurants at night and we have more speakers come in and speak to us about the importance of tourism and, and how we can impact uh, the communities. We talk about responsible use, uh, tread lightly, uh, you know, ride with respect. We talk about all of the different things and how we want to uh, impact our sport. And uh, we work hard at doing what we can to uh, be involved and making sure that our voices are heard. We need to work together and the best way to do that is communicate. And I think the, the big ride is a very good way for that to take place. The big ride gives the ATV community a way to stay heard and protected. And for that, we're very grateful. For At Your Leisure, I'm Joe Davis. The new leader in off-road utility, the completely reinvented Ranger XP1000. It's got the most power, the largest towing capacity, the highest ground clearance, and the best comfort and storage. Introducing the all-new Polaris Ranger XP1000, the hardest working, smoothest riding Ranger ever built. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with a youth reservation Skin starvation, that Duchesne County life Fly higher, go further, do more. Pursue your passion with Polaris, the world leader in off-road. Live wide open in a high-performance Razor. Chase adventure on a legendary sportsman 
or get more done with a hardworking Ranger. Enjoy savings up to $3,500 during the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. It's the place where excitement and fun collide. The Juab County Fair in Nephi, Utah, August 3rd through the 10th. Prepare for the extraordinary as we push the limits on excitement at the one county fair that others strive to be, from rodeos to carnival fun. And some tickets are still available to see legendary Texas band Lone Star on August 8th. Special price tickets from $10 to $30 at JuabCountyFair.com. Think you know county fairs? Think again. Juab County Fair, August 3rd through the 10th in Nephi. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. More than just tune-ups, on a hot summer's day, we are air conditioning. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Laurel with Woodland Biscuit Company. And today we're doing kind of a tricked out hot dog called a banh mi. A banh mi is a type of sandwich from Vietnam that uses a certain type of bread called banh mi. So we're gonna use a sub roll that you can find at the grocery store. The other things that come on a banh mi typically are cucumber, green onions, some mint that I got from my garden, lots of cilantro, pickled carrots. So pickled carrots are super easy. I don't tend to ever peel my carrots. I just wash them and slice them up. And then you get a vinegar. Today I'm using um, rice vinegar, but I've done this with just white vinegar. I put about a tablespoon of sugar on top of it and then a pinch of salt. I'm gonna let that sit. The longer it sits, the better. But I mean, honestly, I would try using this in a half an hour. I would be happy as can be. So something I like on my banh mi is some fish sauce, a little toasted sesame oil. Now you can just take these with you if you want, or you can pre-mix in a little container and then just take that with you wherever you're going and then you can just sprinkle it on. I'm gonna pull off my mint leaves a bit. I don't want all those stems. I like a lot, um, and most people do for this sandwich so that you can really taste it. So now I've got my herbs that I wanna use, very traditional, the mint and the cilantro. Another, I believe, crucial element is the cucumber. I take off the ends and I get it to about the size I want my hot dog to be. I just slice really thin pieces that are gonna go on the sandwich. So this is all stuff you could do ahead of time. So now I'm gonna get my hot dog bun or my banh mi sandwich bread ready. So I've split it open. What I kind of like is personally is just to use one half. If I'm trying to watch my carbs that day, okay, I feel like that's great because then I get more of what I like versus a lot of bread, but it's both. This is a little easier to eat. This is gonna be a little tougher to eat. So I do like mayonnaise a lot. Put some mayonnaise on half, is I'm gonna sprinkle some fish sauce that I'm gonna bring along, some toasted sesame oil. Got my hot dog ready. I get over to my campfire. I love how easy this is. All right, so I've got this done. I'm gonna put that right on my bun. I'm gonna get some of my cucumber, just like that. I like to tuck this green onion down low because if I'm just using this half bun, it kind of can squish out. Then I'm gonna get some of my herbs, and put it like that. And I have to say, as far as pretty, like the sandwich has it going on. So there's your Bondi hot dog, super easy, super delicious. I'm Laurel of Woodland Biscuit Company, enjoy.
on vacation, I never ask, are we there yet? Because my daddy makes sure each stop we make is at Eagle's Landing. They have such cool things for kids, like a petting zoo. They have the cleanest bathrooms on earth. And daddy doesn't freak out pulling up to the pumps, because they're really big and he says it's the best gas in the world. And you can get your tired fits, like we had to. Oh, and their food is so yummy. Eagle's Landing is so much fun, I don't care if we ever get there. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are at the bottom of Cataract Canyon on the Colorado River, and the water is like glass right now. Isn't it, Chad? Yeah, it is. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing. And remember la yeah, remember when we talked earlier in the show that we were up tippy top at that super high horseshoe point? We were looking down, and now we are looking up. Yeah, it's right above there it us is. to the right. Which is amazing, because we were looking down here, we're like, hey, most people don't know what it's like to like look, I mean they can look down or they can look up, but they can't be up and down on the same day. Yeah, and here we pulled it off. It's so cool. Anyway, right now uh, we're going to talk to TJ. He has been our adventure guide up here today and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about navigating on the river. So today we uh, launched from the Height Marina. There's a launch ramp up there. We took the jet skis and the boat up river to uh, the Mile Crag Bend, which is this bend we are currently on. Uh, it's named Mile Crag because when uh, John Wesley Powell came through here, uh, there was miles of crags. So that's simply how he named it. Right now, where we are is about as far as you can go with the jet skis. You can't bring personal watercraft uh, past Sheep Canyon. The boat can go up to the first rapids. Right now, there is enough water at height to launch if you want to do this. Otherwise, the North Wash launch ramp would be where you would want to go. It's pretty cool. It's definitely like it's like our own private horseshoe bend up here without the crowds. I mean, you can see it from above and below. It's very accessible. You don't have to walk single file line to get to it. Outside of height, I mean, the water is just glassy. Even when it's windy, the water is nice and smooth, so you can just cruise really easy. I like the isolation. I like the vastness of it. I like being able to go out and do things away from the crowds. Um, I mean, it's just all just, it's just open to so many recreation possibilities out here. Just seeing new things, yeah, meeting new people, exploring areas that very few people see. Side-by-side -side guiding is really picking up. I do canyoneering, hiking. Um, hopefully this will get going. We'll start doing personal watercraft trips up river here. Um, I love it. This bridge is so beautiful. It's like the gateway to Lake Powell, and you can see all the rafters coming down here from Cataract Canyon, and I'm just gonna take off, honey. See ya, bye. Well, okay, I'll finish up the work here. We are going to leave Lake Powell. We are going to head out along the way. We are going to join up with Reese Stein today to find out what adventure he's come up with. I'm Reese Stein, along the way at Jordan L Reservoir, one of Utah's most popular and diverse fishing holes. We've always had rainbow trout, smallmouth bass, cutthroat trout, brown trout here at Jordan L Reservoir. Yellow perch were also illegally introduced in the 90s, so we have those established. New species include kokanee salmon, wipers, the tiger muskie. Tiger muskie? What's a tiger muskie? Tiger muskie is a great option here at Jordan Owl because it's a hybrid. It's a cross between northern pike and muskellunge, and because it's a hybrid, it won't reproduce. Well, they may not look like much now, but these three inch long tigers will explode into one of the state's largest and toothiest aquatic predators. Something like this, up to four feet long, as much if not more than 30 pounds. So why do they want a voracious monster like this in Jordan Owl? One of the issues that we've been having here at Jordanelle is our smallmouth bass aren't reaching the sizes that we would like to see or that anglers would like to see. So we knew that we needed a top predator to try to reduce competition in the smaller size classes of smallmouth bass and also allow some of those smallmouth bass to reach larger size classes. 
Last month, Watson and her crew stalked 15,000 baby tiger muskie bred at a local hatchery into the reservoir. First, they pour lake water onto the fish to get the tiny tigers used to the change in temperature. Then they dump them in the shallows where they will find plenty of plankton to eat and that will keep them from eating each other. Anglers were at first dubious of having a large predator in the lake, but tigers are hybrids, a cross between a northern pike and true muskie, and therefore unable to reproduce, so managers know exactly how many there are in the water. Our stocking rates of tiger muskie here at Jordanelle are fairly low. They're a voracious predator and we don't want them decimating the other fisheries. Um, but we do want them to do their job. Division of Wildlife scientists create this frankenfish at a special hatchery. Eggs are stripped from pure northern pike like this creature taken from Yuba Reservoir near Nefa. The eggs are fertilized with the milk from true muskies like these grown at the Lee K Hatchery in Salt Lake City. The fish get really big in hatchery ponds and produce thousands of eggs that are hatched in Tyson Barrow's lab. Ever feel like you're Dr. Frankenstein creating these monsters in this lab? Sometimes, uh, maybe not as crazy as Frankenstein, but it's exciting. Tiger muskie are hard to catch, but they've thrived at Pineview Reservoir and have become a favorite among very patient anglers. Tigers planted at Jordanelle three years ago have already reached 27 inches. It's hoped that these fish will thin the exploding population of smallmouth and make Jordanelle again one of the state's top fisheries. Reese Stein at your leisure along the way at the Lee K Fish Hatchery. Fly higher. Go further. Do more. Pursue your passion with Polaris, the world leader in off-road. Live wide open in a high-performance Razor. Chase adventure on a legendary sportsman or get more done with a hard-working Ranger. Enjoy savings up to $3,500 during the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. I promised my son that if he got straight A's, we would take a guy's trip, just the two of us. We were riding on a trail outside a place called Minersville, Utah. There was so much to explore and the trail just kept climbing higher, right to the top of a mountain called Jack's Peak. We just stood there with the whole world below us, not saying much. In fact, not a word. Later, my son turned to me and said, I love you, Dad. Suddenly, I realized we weren't just camping, we were connecting. It's liquidation time at Paris RV. Get the 2019 Rockwood 1640 LTD tent trailer for only $81.72 or $99 a month, zero down. Or the 2019 Puma 17 QVC bunkhouse trailer for only $14,888 or $149 a month, zero down. Or maybe a Class A motorhome is your style. Choose the 2019 FR330DS for only $94,322 or $695 a month, zero down. If you want a super low price, you come see me at Paris RV. It's the place where excitement and fun collide. The Juab County Fair in Nephi, Utah, August 3rd through the 10th. Prepare for the extraordinary as we push the limits on excitement at the one county fair that others strive to be, from rodeos to carnival fun. And some tickets are still available to see legendary Texas band Lone Star on August 8th. Special price tickets from $10 to $30 at JuabCountyFair.com. Think you know county fairs? Think again. Juab County Fair, August 3rd through the 10th in Nephi. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are at the Height Outpost right now at the campground. This is kind of the epicenter of everything that happens at this end of the lake. So, honey, what have you learned today? I have learned that this place is extremely isolated. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful mm -hmm. and packed with lots of fun. You this, can do everything. I agree, and you know what I've learned? What? I have learned that you really can't do it all in a day, which is why <laughs> they have spent $800,000 over the last year to improve and develop an RV site. So we've got 14 sites with full hookups with this beautiful wall of pinnacles right behind us. It's kind of like you're in Goblin Valley. Right. And the lake off to the side of you and the beautiful scenery of the canyon just beyond you. Yeah, they did a fine job. They did, and that way you can come down here or you can use the water-only campgrounds uh, where you can put your RV down by the lake. There's showers down there, brand new. Right. Or you can do the primitive camping on the shore. You shower in the lake. <laughs> Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't go there with that picture, but uh, that allows you to come down here, make this your base camp to travel to different national parks, come back to your RV, there's full hookups, the air conditioning's on, go out on the lake and just have lots of fun. Yeah, it's fantastic. But now we have to go to our calendar of events and our sticker winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Doris Quinn. Congratulations, Doris. It looks like you're going to win a $400 gift certificate to RifeFab.com. RifeFab offers the best custom metal fabrication for your rig. Visit RifeFab.com for more details. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. And remember, there's an extra $100 gift card bounty if you get caught with an Eagles Landing AYL sticker. So be sure to visit any Eagles Landing location to get your sticker and be sure to fill up your machine with Clear 91 while you're there. Now let's take a look at the calendar of events. This week in Nephi, the Jueb County Fair kicks off and will run through August 10th. And on the 8th, the band Lone Star will be performing and tickets are still available, so be sure to get them as soon as possible. What a great sound. And that same week, August 5th through the 10th, is the Duchesne County Fair, which is so much fun. We've been there before. It's fast-paced, week full of fun and excitement. You won't want to miss it. And that same weekend, in Marysvale, Utah, it's the annual Paiute UTV Jamboree. There's going to be all kinds of fun, a big splash pond for the kids. It's a big, fun, muddy, trail-riding mess. And At Your Leisure is going to be there. Now, the following weekend, August 17th and 18th, is the Ride for Life event, which benefits the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The ride goes from Tooele to Wendover. Lots of prizes and fun. Now, let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and I have the inside scoop on a new vision that will be taking place near the east entrance of Zion National Park. Then, we will head out to Five Mile Pass with a unique group of off-roaders as they show us how to kick some trash off the side of the mountain. Finally, we join our friend Russ Stuckey on an off-road mission from St. George to Richfield as he makes the trek to visit Jorgensen's service department. Well, I can't wait for next week, but then I don't want today to end. I know, it's been so much fun, <laughs> really, is. just nonstop. So if you would like to find out a little bit more about the ATV opportunities or possibly rent a watercraft or something like that, contact Lake Powell Adventures. Here's their website right here and they can give you information. Or if you just want to stop by and check things out at the Height Outpost, it's just down the road here a little ways. And, yeah, and they're uh, super friendly in, in the info center. Just a great and they've, couple. Yeah, they've got a trail map up on the wall and they can help you find places that you can ride down here. Yeah, it's way fun. So like we always say, no matter where you are in the world, there is adventure around the very next bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Now, are we hitchhiking now, or are we just going to go back and ride the watercraft some more? Watercraft. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>